County have lauded the newly launched curriculum rolled out with the Education Ministry in January. The group is terming the curriculum a vehicle which will deliver the country to prosperity similar to the developing world. According to Professor Henry Warohio, the new system will push Kenya to greater heights and make the country among the world's most prosperous nations. Professor Warohio, a strategic management lecturer at the East and Southern Africa Management University in Arusha, believes that the new curriculum's focus on technology, entrepreneurship, innovation and talents can help Kenya beat the world's competition. He's now calling on communities and key stakeholders to support the program for its success. The challenges we see ahead of us is that we still need more infrastructure, laboratories in particular. We still need more infrastructure in terms of students' uh, laboratories to be able to cater for the growing uh, student population. We still need more support from the students who are coming from humble and very poor backgrounds. And I do believe that as we continue in this journey, we will continue to work with the leadership to be able to make the school indeed a role model of the schools that we can have and that we can be, both be able to. Well, and of course, now let's head to Busia, where we'll be telling you quite a fascinating story of a man who has chosen to live in a cave, of course, not by chance, but because he wishes to do so. So imagine living in a cave inside your own garden every day of your life, not out of circumstances, but by choice. 